Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of real world ratios and rates. This is standard 6.4b in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 9 off the redesign practice online star test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So we have a total of 96 dogs and cats taken to the veterinarian's office last week. Ratio of cats, dogs to cats was 3 to 5. We need to know how many of those were cats. All right, so what can we do here? Well, there's a few different options here. So let me show you just the, the purely mathematical one, right? If we wanted to just draw a proportion. So we are looking at the total, what numbers do we know here? Total of dogs and cats, right? And we want to know how many of those animals were cats. Okay, so I want to find the number of cats. And I'm going to put a uh, question mark. That's what I'm looking for. And I think I can write a proportion with that over 96 dogs and cats, right, total. So if I'm going to make a proportion, right, I need to use the exact same labels. When we're making proportions, labels are very, very important because you want to make sure that you are either keeping the same levels, the same labels across from each other or within the uh, up and down. So I'm going to choose across here and let's see. I've got the ratio of dogs to cats was 3 to 5. Well, I'm looking for cats, dogs to cats. It's going to be 3 to 5, so I can do my 5 cats, but what's my total? I've got my total of 96, but what's my smaller total? Well, look at If I've got 3 to 5, that means I've got 8. So one way we can do this is we can just make this as our, as our proportion. We could do cross multiplication if we want to, right? We could do the butterfly method. We could say 96 times 5. And then we could divide that by 8. That's one way to do it. Uh, or we can just think, well, if we were to divide 96 by 12, right? If we know our facts, 96 divided by 12 is 8. So that means something divided by 12 is going to equal Five. So what divided by 12 gets you 5? Now, before I reveal the answer, because either of those methods are going to work, let's look at a different way we could have done this. So 96, right? So I need to, I'm going to make an array of 96, but I'm going to make it in groups of 8, since 3 and 5 make 8. So watch this. Let's see what we can do here. I'm going to make my transparency a little bit, there we go. I want to be able to see a little bit more. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. The connect line feature is very good at drawing arrays. All right, and if we want to, right, we can just increase all of this right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill in each row. And each row, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put three dogs and five cats. And then basically, since I've got all 96, I can just count. And before I actually get that far, I will find a pattern and I can find a really easy way to multiply it. But let's just start with some colors here. So let's start with blue. I'm going to say dogs and I change to draw. Dogs are blue. Okay. So there are three dogs to five cats. So I'm going to go three dogs and I'm just going to go all the way down. You see I'm doing three rows, or three columns all the way down. So all of these are sets of three. Then I'm going to do cats are going to be the sets of five. So that's everything else. And as I'm thinking about this, I could be skip counting five, 10, 15, 20. How many rows do I have? I've got 12. So that's going to get me my five times 12, which all of this together make 60. So any way you do it, your answer is C.